Okay, so basically yesterday I found out that there was a uh, shooting, and I don't know anything else about it other than there was a shooting in Texas. And then I found, I, so this morning I saw another video, and it just kind of prompted me to say, you know, let's go talk about what I know about this whole subject and revolving uh, gun control and shootings and whatnot. What's real, what, what is all this? Like, let's, let's talk about the whole thing. Now, to cut time, I was originally going to, um, I already did this recording so many times already, but I was originally going to go and rehash one of my stories about how I stopped a school shooting, but instead, I'm just going to refer to you and say, if you want to know about the story about how I stopped the school shooting, go watch my uh, Eighth House videos, the first one, the, somewhere in there I talked about that, that story about how I stopped the school shooting. So if you want to know, you know, about that, um, just go watch that. But I will say that um, it involves a friend of mine at the time named Trenton. And um, at that time, <clears throat> um, a lot of gothic type of people were, were targeted right after Columbine happened. And, um, and it, it basically, when, whenever we went, because of the fact that Columbine was per, like televised so much, like it was just, you know, like in her face, um, it pl implanted the idea of school shootings. Um, in our heads, and I believe that that was a that was a um, a direct cause as to why my friend Trenton was going to go on a school shooting in the first place because the idea was planted in his head. Now, do I think that if if that what if Columbine wasn't advertised, do I think that they would have changed anything to him psychologically and made him less uh, violent? No, I feel like maybe he he would have done something that was a little bit more isolated, but. You know, who knows, but the point is I think that because it was advertised, it planted this idea in his head to do that. So if you want to listen to that, go watch that video. But we're going to mainly talk about the whole gun control thing. Now, if anyone is into conspiracy theory type of stuff, then you probably already know that the main agenda of getting rid of guns is so that um, uh, those in power can take over and people will not have anything to defend themselves with. It's just very basic. But how they're trying to implement this is much more of a bigger, uh, it's a bigger picture kind of thing. It's, it's a lot more complex than just, you know, um, something that I think that average people would probably understand. <clears throat> um, the way they're going about this is in a nutshell, they have to dumb down everybody. Because if you dumb down people and you start at making them act almost like, like having childlike behaviors and stuff like that, like a mind of a child type of shit, then whenever serious, um, serious thought provoking anything shows up, they're not going to be able to register it. They're not going to be able to, to even pay attention to it if their attention spans are shortened so much. Like, that's the whole goal. Dumb everybody down, and that way you're going to have the uh, ability to move in and, and do things, and just uh, people will allow you to do it because, you know, they've been dumbed down. So, well, after all, let me tell you that the, the issue, the core issue to violence, gun violence, school shootings, shootings, all that, it is not the guns themselves. It is always psychologically based. Because of how people are psychologically, that is the real problem. If people weren't so fucked up in the head, you wouldn't need you wouldn't even need guns. So the guns aren't the problem. It's all psychological. But if you ban guns, I promise you that the, the, the you know people who want to ban guns they think in a bubble, and in this bubble they they believe that everyone in, everyone thinks inside this bubble. Right? If you get rid of the guns, you get rid of the violence. It's that simple. But they're not thinking like an elite member, and they're not thinking like a criminal like a criminal would think. A criminal is going to think outside the box. A criminal is not going to follow the rules within that bubble. But they're not thinking outside that bubble. So they assume, just do this, and this will happen. But that's, again, that's very small, narrow, bubble type of thinking. But how are they dumbing down people? In a nutshell. Um... The internet is basically the conscious brain right now. It's any anything you do in the internet, it is going to affect the minds of people, pretty much. And so, if you promote the idea 
of behaving a certain way, you you essentially mold the, the mindset of people. And I see this mainly in social media. Uh, this is the, the place to where we go to connect with one another. But in order to connect, we, we've been taught collectively to connect in a very shallow, superficial, uh, non-thought-provoking kind of way. Um, and I'm just going to call things out. I want, I want to remind everyone that whatever I say, it's just me calling it out for what it is. It's not me you know, degrading anyone. It's just the way it is. So when I see the kind of behavior, it's more specifically seeing on TikTok. I mean, it's everywhere, but TikTok is like the, the most obvious out of all of them. Uh, but when I see certain types of behaviors where grown-ass adults are pretty much acting like kids, uh, when they're doing all the dance moves and shit like that and all that, uh, they're just overall doing superficial things or the t- you know to to basically gain attention. Um, to me, this is exactly what kids do. Uh, my daughter does not do this type of stuff, but she has friends that do this. And when I see them do it, I don't see anything wrong with it because that's what they're supposed to do. They're kids. They're they're teenagers. This is what they do. But when you grow up and you became an adult, a lot of things that you uh, the, a lot of things you thought and the way you behave, it usually you start to lose interest in the things that you were once interested in when you were younger because your mindset has changed. But like I said, if you have the world being taught that your mindset has to be like this, like again, you're, you're the way you seek attention to the what you're supposed to think or how you're supposed to think is supposed to be like this, then you're going to have grown-ass adults acting like children. And... In a nutshell, and not just the behavior, not the whole, not just because there's dance, you know, all these dance videos and women sharing like, you know, like uh, copious amounts of cleavage. I mean, not just that, but the fact that that content is not being offered context, um, that's a huge problem because. And you're probably at this point thinking this has nothing to do with gun control. Trust me, it doesn't. I'll, I'll bring it. I'll bring it back. But because things are made to be so short, um, it's made so, someone like me like it's made it hard for someone like me to explain what is going on. Because if a person has the mindset that it must be quick, short, and entertaining, then I can't reach them. And I can't reach the masses of people. And then my brothers get what they want. <laughs> you know, world domination. But I, the fact that things, uh, again, the superficial stuff requires 10, 15 seconds worth of content, it, it basically rewires your brain, in a nutshell, to, 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 to think that content, content and context should be that short, right? So, once again, when you were presented the idea of, of getting rid of guns, do you think a person's going to think about all the context behind you know, the consequences about, you know, what, what will happen if we get rid of guns? Or are they just going to think more simple-minded and think, oh, well, yeah, of course, guns are bad. People use guns to kill people. That's the problem. No, they're not going to look in the mirror and realize the problem is them. The problem is they don't, they're not, they're not in a, a more mature state of mind. They're not going to see it because you can't see what you can't see, you know? And I've noticed that people who are like this, they tend to see mostly with their emotions. Um, that's just how children are. Are like they, you know, you have to talk to children, like especially the younger they are. You have to talk to them a certain way. You have to talk to them in very simple manners. You can't, you can't, you know, like if I was to be like, all right, God, God damn it, you motherfucker, you stupid motherfucker, you need to wake up. Well, I mean, I have a good intention of just like trying to wake them up, but if I come at them like that. They're just gonna hear. They're just gonna hear motherfucker, stupid. They're gonna take all these words and they're gonna hear that. Even though that's not what I'm doing. That's not the context. I'm not mad at them. I don't hate them. I'm trying to wake them up. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna. They're not gonna hear what's literally logically going on. They're going to hear from their emotional state, and that's why you have a lot of people out there who get offended over the dumbest thing, right? Because they're not thinking critically. They're not thinking. You know. Con- they're, not, they're not looking at the context of any situation. They're just triggered by anything they don't like, so therefore they, their emotions go way out of whack, you know? 
So I think I got gave you just a, a, at least a, a good enough, I say good enough example of what I mean that the problem is not gun control. The problem is and has always been the psych psychological mind state, not just rational mind state, but even emotional maturity of the collective. That's the problem. If people were smarter, if people were more emotionally mature, you wouldn't have a lot of the negative shit that's going on today. And what we're having right now is a spiritual warfare. And right now, I feel like I'm at a huge disadvantage. And no doubt, I am, I've been, especially lately, have been having thoughts of just giving up and not doing any more of this YouTube shit because I don't really feel like many people listen to me in, in, in the first place. So, I don't know yet. I'm still kind of like, I don't know what to do. But, there you go. That's what I have to say about gun control and the real problem behind it. So, if you listen to this, thank you for listening. I will talk to you later.